I'm working on this on the iPad so you can kind of follow along. We're going to start out by putting a square on there. And the first step is we have to get the dimensions exactly. I don't want to print, be printing these if they're too large or too small. Uh, so it's pretty simple. We click the down arrow right here. And we want the length. You can just click on the 20 here. And I'm going to go down and type in 40. And then I can type in the next one. Type in 40. And for the height, I'm going to click there and make that 4. So I now have my length, width, and height. The other thing that you can try here, and this is pretty cool, I'm going to move this over, zoom in on it, is this idea of the radius. Watch the corners here as I change this radius slider. See how it rounds the corners off? Uh, that's what we want. The 3D printer will, will print the corners real rounded. So bring the radius all the way over. The steps uh, doesn't do a whole lot. You don't have to worry about that. So to review, radius of 20, length 40, width 40, height 4. So now we have our shape here. I'm going to make mine yellow. And the next step is to bring down a cylinder that's a hole and cut the keychain hole. So I'll click on cylinder. Now, unfortunately, there's not a slider here for the diameter. So we're going to do something different, and this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to click on the corner white square, and up pops some numbers. This cylinder is 20 by 20. So I'm going to click here backspace and make this five. The diameter of the cylinder is five. Click OK. Now it looks this funny shape here. I'm going to click over here on this 20. Back it up. Make this five. And now I have my cylinder there. I'm going to bring my cylinder over to a corner and you kind of want to eyeball this one. I don't have a number on that. I'm going to look at it from the top down here. That looks pretty good. Then the other thing is make sure that the cylinder is going all the way through. Mine looks as it's close. I'm going to click the black arrow. Now if I look at it from this side, I'm ready to go. The next step is to group these together so that this will cut a hole. So I'm left clicking on, or just clicking on the base, clicking on the cylinder. This group command opens up, click there. It does a little bit of work. And now I've made the first piece. You want a treat? Huh? Treat? <laughs>